Good morning, this is Tom, Negotiating with Jesus. So we're going to do something today. Uh, I don't usually have a great plan. I'm just going to do my exercises every day. So... Do you see? I do the scales, pentatonic scale. Today I'm going to go over uh, a song called Backward John. So it's got a little riff in it. I'm going to tell you about songwriting, uh, how you write a song. So in my history, I was with guys that loved music and we started a band when I was young. So I had to learn guitar and we had a couple guys floating around who knew how to play some chords, a guy that loved the Beatles. Uh, Greg probably taught me to play the guitar. So I was pretty young, but I was not terribly motivated. We did covers, so we did uh, whatever we could. We did a little fog hat, did a little, I don't even remember. A little UFO, just some fun rock songs. But it gave me some motivation to learn to play guitar. Many years later, I was in a second band that did covers of contemporary Christian music. We did a little Newsboys. We did a lot of Newsboys, a little Jeff Moore. And then we tried to write some songs. And I found that, boy, that was fun. Because I think people often write little poetic ideas down. And then I had enough music to, to understand how music songs were put together. We played songs. So this song, I'm going to tell you a little bit about John the Baptist because the song, to me, I like the song. And what I want to promote is that you do songs that you like. And I don't care if anybody else likes them. And I don't care if you feel like it might not be original because this riff, this can't be I can't have made this up. It's possible. But maybe I heard something like this. I looked up the other day songs that have a descending E minor, a descending, use a descending scale in it, uh, a descending E minor song. So we talked the other day. That isn't part of the scale. So one of the things I noticed was uh, the, the scale I practice every day. In key of C is the same as A minor, same notes as A minor. But this song is in the key of E minor, so, so the scale that I would have played here. Is moved down, A minor, G, minor, F minor, E minor. That note is not does not belong to that key. But you can throw other notes in. But I'm going to talk a little bit about this story. So John the Baptist, this crazy story uh, in those days, uh, there was a, a man named John the Baptizer who lived in the wilderness in Judea. So Matthew chapter 3 tells the story of this guy. And it's such a great character. So I want to write stories that kind of are Jesus-y. Or something about sacrifice or deep love or my own failures. So I, I don't mind writing songs that have some uh, admission that... I wish I was better. So it's, you know, it's all love songs. So I failed you, she failed me. Or she loved me regardless of my failures. It, it's some kind of thing in the world. So failure is a part of the Christian story, whatever. So John the Baptist. So up in the mountains where you wouldn't walk alone. On the bank of the river lives a lonely soul. So John the Baptist, he's in the wilderness and he's shouting he's that prophetic character that you see in the street corner the world is coming the world is ending uh the end of the world is nigh or something like that this bearded 
ragged looking character. And Jesus talks about him and says, why would you go in the wilderness? What do you think you're going to find there? Some guy finely dressed, have a cup of tea? Are you just going to watch reeds swaying in the wind? No, this guy is out there and he's yelling, repent for the end is near. The kingdom is coming. So it's this great story that you get a sense of it all over, that these crazy people yelling that people better turn around, they better settle down. It's what happens in election season. You better, you better, you know, you politicians are terrible. You better stop. We're going to throw you out. The country's dying, all these different things. So it's a common theme. So John, uh, now John is the guy... Uh, the story, it goes on in, that John is arrested. John the Baptist is arrested because he's calling out the king for marrying his brother's wife. Uh, his brother's wife bails out on the king, King, I think it's king Herod, that old fox. Philip's wife, I think, King Philip, who's in the province next door his wife leaves him and marries king herod something like that herod agrippa so john is saying that's not lawful for you to marry your brother's wife and the king king's wife she probably says throw this guy in jail i don't like him talking about me he gets thrown in jail there's a dance scene and this is in a bible story uh the king's wife her daughter dances and does such a fine job that the king promises her some great reward. She asks her mother, what should I do with this promise of the king, this great reward? She says, ask the king to give you John's head on a platter. I was like, what? So your head on a silver platter. It's, that's the story of John the Baptist. John the Baptist starts as a crazy man in the wilderness shouting he baptizes jesus and then he becomes less of a character and jesus takes over the story but john has these these crazy this great character so i wanted to write a story i love this character so uh and i had a riff and who cares if it's mine or not up in the mountains where a woman walk alone by the bank of the river There's a lonely soul You got a message and Don't you call him a liar, take a dip in the water People catching fire So many are coming What do they want to hear? They walk away different Faith or fear. I know a man, and they call him a backward John. He's a living on bugs, and he's shouting now. It won't be long, he don't hear a word, unless it comes from the Lord. I'm a starless backward John. For the Messiah, make a way for the kingdom come wherever he's going. I wanna go along, yeah. Walk Jesus in the river, saw the Spirit coming from above, lighted right there upon him. Put it down like a little dog. Now, no man, they call him Backward John. He's living on bugs. Now, it won't be long He don't hear a word Unless it comes from the Lord I'm soundless Backward John There's never been a bolder man Preaching with so little fear No No And I heard him speak the gospel truth Didn't know it was so near No the time is here and I'm no man. They call him backward John, he's living on bugs and he shout now, it won't be long. He don't hear a word unless it
unless it comes from the Lord, I'm just done listening back with John. It's hard to ignore baptizer John when I heard him say, Behold, the Lamb of God. So that's back with John living on bugs. So he's in the wilderness. He's living on locusts and wild honey. He just wears a garment made of camel skin or a belt made of camel skin. Uh, so, you know, just a crazy character living on bugs. He's eating locusts and wild honey. You don't have a lot of food. He's not a farmer. He's just, you know, living off the land. And he's baptizing. So baptism is this, is this death and resurrection. You put somebody underwater and we're going to wash away your evil, your sin, your, your bad, and we're gonna, you're going to come out brand new. It's what we do with laundry. It's what you do in a swimming pool when you <clears throat> hold your buddy under the water. It's terrifying. And you start flapping around. It is a symbol of death. Jesus gets baptized. He's, John is like, I, I shouldn't baptize you. You should baptize me. He baptizes. Jesus says, do it anyway. And then he does. Uh, he starts. He believes this is the Messiah. And he starts pointing out, behold, the Lamb of God. So that's that uh, ending line. So it's a story with this ark. And, uh, you know, how you come up with words you have to have some story in mind you have to have some rhyming scheme kind of i do stories that are only or typically verse chorus verse chorus bridge and i did a bridge i did not do i did an e these the bridge was i think a little outside of what you're allowed to use but you're allowed to use whatever you want. You're allowed to do whatever you want. Do songs. Uh, I'm going to continue to try and get to where I'm talking about song construction. And I'm not great. I'm just some average dude. But I want everyone to just get average. Get average. Learn your chords. Do your exercises. Every day. Because it's helped me. I'm not a super disciplined guy. But I've decided to do this every day. So that's today's, uh, there's one song after I do my exercises and, uh, I also do the key of C in the positions. I want to be able to go from... I want to be able to jump where I need to go. I was watching a video the other day of uh, Life in the Fast Lane and you're playing notes and then you have to jump to another place to finish off the riff, a great riff. I might try and learn that riff. There it is. Talk to you next time.